Welcome back everyone to the second episode of our Football Manager 2017 Let's Play. Okay, today, so I've done a little couple of things off camera, I've made a couple of offers for some players, um, but apart from that, everything else should be pretty much as we left it last time around. So we're going to run, start running through some days now. So here's a player who I think will be very, very important for us. Um, so Tommaso Coletti. So can play, we're getting him in to play in the defensive midfield role in our 3-4-3 formation, but he can also drop back, back and play as a central defender um, very, very competently. So he could be very, very important for us um, in terms of filling a couple of key roles for us there. So primarily playing that DM role, but sort of being a, a fourth choice um, slash rotation option in central defense. So that is why I'm willing to pay him, um, actually, basically pay around 100, well, 125k as it says there, about 100k to start with. So, which is a lot of money for a 32 year old. Um, and he's offering, wanting a lot of money here as we can see, but um, yeah, I mean, it's sort of one of those things that, um, that we sort of, um, I think that we sort of really need him um, and we're sort of just basically have to be willing to pay for him. Although we're running into a problem now that I've just noticed that he wants around 2.6 and our maximum is 1.1 because we're um, a fair way over our wage budget. So if we need 100, so we'll drop it down to there. That should be enough. So we'll do that and what, can that, what does that give us now? All right, so we give him, say, 2.2. Um, promotion wage rise. We'll give you extra on the team of the year bonus. I always like jacking that up because, I mean, at the end of the season, what doesn't matter too much, and it sort of seems to make players happy. Um, so we'll drop those down, try and get as best deal for us as we possibly can. All right, that's not too bad. Um, we've also made an offer for a goalkeeper. So where are we? Transfers, bids in. Um, Gianluca Mikhail, so he's a little bit better than what our current options, not hugely, but definitely sort of better, um, so he should be more solid, which would will be um, hopefully good, so we'll, hopefully that will come in in the next couple of days. Um, and then the big problem that we are running up against is actually having um, a really good sort of option on our right-hand side, our attacking midfielder right. So if jump into the team report here, we've got Nocciolini here, um, who's a winger. So it would be a very, very good winger, but we don't, I don't think we really want to play with a winger, unfortunately. Um, so we jump into the 3-4-3 here. So apologies yesterday as well, because I was calling this like a 3-5-2 or like a 3-4, 3-5-1 or something ridiculous. So um, it's obviously a 3-4-3. Um, so obviously we want to play here with, I think we really need to play here on this right-hand side. We will basically, in our front three, we need players, I think, that are basically going to sort of be, have a lot of movement, uh, but also be playing more narrow. So coming in, moving around a lot, creating a lot of space, and then our wing backs are going to be the ones that give us the width there. If we played with a winger on here, that would sort of really negate the impact of the wing back here, because they wouldn't be able to push up as far. Um, so I really like the RMD role uh, for this tactic. Obviously, I haven't really seen it play out in real life, but I like the idea of it. Um, but it is very, very difficult to find players who would fit that. Um, so we could potentially change it to inside four, which may be a little bit samey for me, which is why I've sort of gone with a, a different split there for our front three, but we'll see. Anyway, um, we've come up with a couple of options here. Those, there's potentially, these are both lone players. Um, Sumara, Sumara, um, who again, doesn't suit the RMD role at all. Um, would be a, uh, an average inside forward. Um, and then Depioli, Depioli, um, who would be a better option. So again, doesn't suit the RMD role, but not no one, no one really does seem to at this level, or there's very few players actually seem to sort of fit the role at this level. So I'm thinking we may actually make a loan offer for him. I think he would be a decent sort of backup slash rotation op option for Nocciolini. We may just sort of have to see how they go in that role, even though they don't really suit it. Um, and sort of just wear it, unfortunately, because I've really scoured the um, the the options available to us on so the loan market. The loan market's quite tapped out already; like it, it does sort of disappear quite quickly. And the, all the free transfers and stuff are pretty much gone as well. A lot, I think, anyway, the, all the good ones, anyway. So we may be sort of stuck with some sort of square pegs in round holes, unfortunately, for a season, or at least until we're halfway through, until we can see if we can get anyone better in. 
halfway through. So what we can do is just make an offer for him in our loan offer. Um, they don't want anything, which is awesome. So that's really good. So always remove the recall option. I'm not sure if AI teams ever actually recall players, but I sort of don't like the idea of it. So I always remove it. That was all good. So hopefully um, he comes in as well. And that would mean our team would be shaping up quite nicely. And then we'd run to the option of actually having to get rid of a bunch of players because um, I think we are quite overstacked already. So run through a couple of days, see if those two players come in, um, or three players I should say. If they do, then we'll do a big clear out and we should be fairly set actually for the start of the season. So I think everything else is pretty much set. So training's all good, our tactics are roughly set up, stuff, we've got a few stuff, um, advertisements and stuff around. Some stuff will be coming in over the next sort of week or two. Um, finances, actually I had a look at this in the off camera and our projections aren't very good. So we're projected to be 1.23 million in the red at the end of, the se end of this season, which isn't very good. Um, but yeah, I mean, there's nothing we can do about that. So we just have to sort of, you know, um, cop it and see what happens. We're already over our wage budget, so we'll need to look at that. But we will hopefully get rid of some players. So here is Mikhail, so we'll accept that. We'll have a look at him once he comes into the club, which he has done now, which is awesome. Add him to the training tra camp squad, and yeah, so here we go. So as you can see, he's rated slightly better, but if we do a uh, comparison with uh, one of our current goalkeepers, so Korich, in um, attributes here, highlight goalkeeper defend. Um, so you see here he's basically sort of just a little bit more solid across the board. Physicals are fairly comparable. Um, so a few of his mentals are better, um, obviously a lot more consistent across the board there. Um, and a few of his technicals are sort of a few points higher, sort of in general, like there's a few a little bit lower, but in general, um, he's far more solid as a goalkeeper. So I'm hoping he should do a fairly good job for us, which means we're going to need to get rid of one of our goalies, but we'll look at that in a minute. Um, here's a new scout, so I'll accept that. Cool, so he is um, new scout. So 15s for um, ability and potential, which is good. So that should be awesome. Um, so who have you recommended? So deep, uh, defensive midfielder, a goalkeeper, and a striker. So I don't really need any of those players. And um, actually, you would have been better, actually. <laughs> I didn't see you before. Anyway, that's we're pretty much stuck with that, so that's fine. Is what it is. It's already done. Um, okay, so... Yep, that's fine. Damn. Damn, damn, damn. How are we going to do this? We need 140k from our transfer budget. Oh, that's awful. Um, I really, really, really want Coletti. I think he could be super duper important. Because otherwise we sort of basically need to bring in two players. Um, okay, so we're going to delay that for a week. And what can we do? What could we possibly do? So we're over our wage budget, so we can't adjust that. We need to raise around, what, £30,000. Who needs to go? So either Corrick or Corrich or Zimmers. So uh, who's better? Or Zommers, I should say, not Zimmers. So you played, yes, you played pretty much all last season, didn't you? And Corich didn't, yes. So purely on that, I'm probably thinking we'll keep Zomers, just for nostalgia. Anyway, you have a little bit more potential as well. So, well, they're roughly the same. Anyway, um, I think we may do that. Although Corich is probably a little bit better, isn't he? Oh, they're roughly the same. They're both pretty awful. Um, oh, we'll, just, we'll, we'll keep the young one. So we'll get rid of Croach. Actually, who's on the most money, I should say? So you're on 575 and you're on 550. Both. You've got... Yeah, so you got a two-year contract, actually, so that makes it easy. Um, so... Uh, can we... get rid of these players? Can we... Potentially, is anyone going to buy you? I suspect not. What if we go 10k? Actually, what we'll do, we'll get our, um, we'll offer to clubs for, we'll say 20k just to start with, and we can make, maybe we'll do these ourselves. See if we can free up some options here. Um, 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 so I think, yeah, so Benassi. Uh, 
Yeah, so I think Benassi I identified before is going to go. So yeah, so he's fifth choice currently in our central defenders. So we're going to get rid of Benassi. We're going to offer him out for say um, 30, 30K. See if anyone's interested. Um, so who else have we got? So Messina, Nzella, Garufo, Ricci, Miglietta. I think Mazzocchi is another one we're going to get rid of. Um, it's not really going to figure for us at all. Don't really think anyone's going to buy you though. So we'll just do say 10K, try and get rid of you. And who was the other one? Melandry. Yeah, so definitely Melandry because we don't play with um, an AMC. So we'll offer you out for 40K. Um, and what about Zamble here? So, yeah. I think we're going to get rid of you because we are paying you 220 pounds a week. You're 17, obviously you got a lot of potential, but we're not going to see that potential. And you're probably not really up to scratch. We're actually not up to scratch for this season. So we're going to terminate the loan. So that's a little bit of money saved. Um, and who else? Who else, who else, who else? I think Miglietta will go if um, Coletti comes in, but we can't really get rid of any of our midfield, uh, central midfielders yet in case Coletti doesn't come in. Okay, I think that's pretty much all we can do. So we'll see if we can get anyone. Berbatov went to Ajax, that's interesting. Um, uh, goalkeeper, a lot of potential. Um, way too expensive for us. So Zambul's loan has finished. No one's offered any money, which is sucky. Um, okay, so new signing press comments. Okay, so delighted. Already large squad, um, financial future, never do anything. Um, I'm most confident. Don't wish to talk about transfer policy, blah, blah, blah. Okay, cool. So while I'm here, I'm just going to change some of the responsibilities as well. So press conferences to my assistant, um, new signings to my, oops, my assistant. Actually, I'll give it to my director of football. Um, and everything else is fine. Okay, so we're going to struggle to raise this money, which is a real shame. Because I think Coletti would have been an absolute gun for us. Can't adjust our budgets, can we? Nope, we can't. Can we ask for any money? Um, transfer budget? Um... Which is going to be more useful? Probably f don't have the funds to strength funds to strengthen areas. Um, going backwards or key signings? I don't know. I don't really know how much of an impact all these actually have. Like it's hard to tell. Like if there is an actual like an ideal one. Like I'm thinking for the, our situation of our club, we don't want to go backwards, obviously, because we are looking to go up. Okay, so that doesn't work. Um, Okay, so that was a bust, um, which means we can't do anything. Nope, 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 nope. Okay. So what are we going to do? What are we going to do? Um, so we'll get all of these guys to be sold at any price by our director of, director of football. Hopefully we get a little bit of money. I mean, worst case scenario, we'll at least free up some wage budget. Um, but we'll see. So Scavone has been injured for four to five weeks, which is awful because he's our number one midfielder. So how did that happen? So weight, weight session in training. Like our, our training is actually really quite light, so I don't think that's a problem. Unfortunately, injuries just do happen. Um, okay, cool, cool, cool. No offers, no offers, no offers, no offers. Oh my god, that's awful. Um, okay, so where's our unwanted list? So we're just going to have to go, I think, s release, sell or release. I 
I mean, it's not surprising. No one at this level has any money. That really sucks. And I, I think we're going to miss out on Coletti, actually, which is awful. Um, so we've freed up... Yeah, but that's taking out of our transfer, transfer budget. Yeah, it is right. So we're definitely... We're going to lose out on Coletti, which sucks. But that's just what happens. Um, okay, so sports science advert. So I'm not really sure we need one, especially we're sort of maxed out in our money. I don't have no idea what sports science is still, actually, to be honest. I did sort of read it, but like I wasn't particularly clear on what they actually do. What actually benefit they bring to the club, to be honest. I think there was sort of some... Something around sort of healing times or um, sort of something like that. So I'm not quite sure what criteria I'm looking for. I think I'm just trying to hire someone, to be honest. Um, you look fine. Dun, 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 dun. Done. All right. So, um, Adepioli is coming in on loan, which is awesome. Cool. So, yeah. So, I think he's going to be a, a sort of a good option for us. So, um, at least we've got two options there in that in that mid uh, attacking midfielder right role. So, um, that's fine. Karik has gone 16k. Um, Lo Faso has agreed a loan. So this is one we all sorted out a while ago. So either we do this. So who have we got for the right or the left, I should say. So on the left, we've got um, Severini who's obviously be our first choice. And then Bry, who is one of our players, but we are paying him 1k a week. Is there a potential? What about um number of, I should have checked this before actually. Number of loan players per match. Um, doesn't look like there's any um, rules around it. Disciplinary transfer, wages, loan. Um, that's fine. Yep. So, no, it doesn't look like there's any limits on loans, which is awesome. So, either we bring in Lofaso, um, we're not paying him anything, which would be really good, which potentially means we could get rid of Barai, potentially, hopefully, for a bit of money, which would be awesome. So, we're going to accept this, and then we're going to come back to Barai and go offer to clubs for 50k. And see if we can get anything there. I mean, worst case scenario, hopefully we can free up some wage budget, but we shall see. No offers. All right, that's fine. We sort of, so if someone's interested at least. So what if we go offer for 20K? Surely someone's got the money. Squad development or squad harmony has gone backwards, which is not surprising given we've had a number of um, changes to our squad. That sort of always happens a fair bit. Um, all right, so Lofaso has come in on loan, which is awesome. So I think he would be a very good option. So Severini and Lofaso are going to be our um, our two options. Lofaso has a huge amount of flair, which could be really quite crucial. Actually, I love flair players. They can be really, really amazing. Suits the inside forward role down to a T. So basically, Severini and Lofaso are going to be battling out for this role. Um, they're both quite young, both a lot of flair, both really quite good players for this level. So that should be a really interesting battle for us there or some good competition. So that's good. That role is sorted. Um, I just, I'd love to get some money so we can get Coletti and I think that would just be the icing on the cake. Um, Mazzocchi, which means we're just using all that transfer budget. Uh, it's terrible. Um, all right, it's fine. Still don't know idea what SWAT scientists do, but anyway. I'm sure they do something. Otherwise, I'm sure SI wouldn't have put them into the game. No offers. Damn it. All right, so what if we go unwanted list, sell or release? At the very least, we can get rid of... Um, get rid of the wage budget. So we do need a new coach, or do we? Um, yes, we do, because we don't have any general coaches, which is not ideal. So who can we get? So that, I, I, I am aware that you can actually obviously scout um, search coaches, and that's probably actually a better way, but I sort of like this for realism purposes. And it does make the game a little bit more difficult. 
Um, I'm thinking Melandry is the best. He's got the best technicals and decent mentors. So we're going to approach you. So you want uh, way too much money. Why do you want so much money? Damn it. Uh, it's a lot of money, but we need a coach. We can't just not have any general coaches, which would be awful. Okay, Melandry, no offers, and made an offer of 10.5K. Well, we have to put in 160K, 160 pounds a week, which is not too bad, actually. Um, all right, cool. Well, that, that's fine. I think I'm think I'm happy with that. So that's been accepted. No offers more for Melange, which is awesome. Oh, awful, I should say. Um, so if we put you back on and go release, what about what would it cost to release you? Forty three thousand wowzers. So we've got a K available. Is it worth? Um, is it worth releasing Melange? I suspect it is. Will you take mutual termination? No. Okay, I think we're just going to release you. I like. I know it's going to suck up a whole bunch of our wage transfer budget, but I'm hoping potentially it may give us an option or two. Um. Okay. So we've got 2.1k currently with um, Baraya going out of the club as well. We've only got, we have what, 25k available, but is there, are we potentially going to be able to free up, up, up enough to get in Coletti? I'm thinking not, but at the very least we've reduced our wage budget. Um, we weren't going to use the transfer budget much anyway, but anyway, such is life. Okay, so first game, first preseason friendly. So I know preseason games are usually complete waste of time, but I am quite interested. Just gonna do a quick pick, um, basically because we're sort of mainly interested in, um, in 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 fitness here at the moment, and, and sort of how the, the um, system actually works. So, ooh, and I think all the, the options seem fairly, fairly logical at the moment, so that should be fine. Teams are warming up. Um, effect and some of the, the things that happen in the match engine just completely break realism um, and that's sort of the big thing for me like if it's breaking realism then what's the point in having it so but this one seems a lot better like it's not just the the stadiums and stuff which does help um, the sort of the player action seems a lot better like there's still a little bit ice skating on the on the ground but sort of not quite as bad um, so yeah so that's fine so what I think I'll do guys is I'll probably run through this off camera um, and then we'll jump back into it and sort of notice and run through any sort of interesting bits in terms of um, tactical sort of you know um, developments and things like that. So I think that's what we'll do. So I think I'm going to pause the video and we'll be back shortly. Okay, and we're back. So a 2-1 victory, a game we did dominate, although it was an awful, awful game. Um, uh, let's have a look here, some stats. We had, what, 15 shots in total, but only two on target. That's because they're sitting very deep, and we sort of did struggle to break them down a little bit. So, um, we shaded possession, and, I mean, everything else is fairly standard. Nothing too particularly jumps out at you there. Um, it was definitely a richly deserved win, but, um... Yeah, so you may have a look at some of this analysis stuff, which, to be honest, I haven't actually checked out yet. Oh, this is interesting. It's pretty. Um, so heat maps. Interesting. So I assume they're going from left to right. So you're attacking from... Well, that wouldn't make sense, would it? Left to right, right to left. Interesting. Which way are they going? How do I not know this? Anyway, it looks pretty. I'm not really sure what it tells us. Um, teams, shots, action zones, um, yeah, so this is actually quite interesting that we, our focus of our attacks was very, very balanced, which is interesting. I mean, I, I quite like that because it shows that 
there's not one area of the pitch that is sort of dysfunctional. Um, it shows that we're getting link up plays because a lot of times you'll find focus of attacks can show you um, like if one side of the pitch is sort of broken, like you, you're sort of really struggling, you've got two sort of really mismatched roles or like, you know, they're sort of just really struggling to link up, um, that obviously the team naturally is going to gravitate away from that area because it's so too, too difficult. So this sort of shows us, um, yeah, that, uh, you know, we're fairly well balanced in attack. I really do like the movement of the inside forward at the moment. Um, it really works well in this system. Um, but I'm not quite sure about the RMD. I'm actually almost convinced after that game, well not convinced, but the idea did cross my mind that and a winger actually might not be the worst thing. A winger with a, a player instructions of sitting narrower, I'm not sure how that would work. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stick with the RMD, but I'm actually in pre-season going to experiment and cover the games with a winger um, with a sit narrow instruction. You actually see how, see how that works. I'm, I'll be very interested to see actually how that flows out because it could give us some really different options in attack. Um, I really actually like this formation. I've never ever set it up in Football Manager 4, but I really like it. It's really sort of varied and diverse um, and gives you a lot of, really a lot of options. So very, very interesting. Okay, so I don't think there's pretty much too much point running through a lot of this analysis stuff yet because it's pre-season and all that kind of stuff. So I think we'll just probably run through, um, start running through some pre-season games. Although we are sitting a f over 35 minutes on the episode, so we may actually end it soon. Thinking what we'll do next episode is sort of try and run through pre-season fully and get stuck into some of our first competitive games. That's where you really sort of see how... Ooh, one of our friendlies has been cancelled. That's not good. Um, two of our friendlies have been cancelled. Um, our Serie C Cup... This must be... Okay, so we've got a cup games. Right, that's interesting. Um, data analysts. Um, all right, so we'll look at that in a minute. 9,700 9, season ticket holes. That would be awesome for this level of, of football. That would be very, very good. Pretty sure any club at this level would be thrilled to have that sort of level of um, season ticket holders. I have no idea again what I'm looking for here. You look awesome. You're it. God, they want a lot of money, though, don't they? I do like the data data analyst because I sort of I suppose it's something tangible. They can actually see what benefits they give you in, that, in terms of they give you sort of um, like it's sort of like the new um, opposition scouting, isn't that? But they give you quite in depth um, detail, so that's quite interesting. Okay, so maybe run through a day or two, and then we'll probably end this episode. So I would have liked to get through a little bit more of pre-season, but I ra rabbit on too much, don't I? Um, damn, okay, so we definitely can't... We're not going to have Ford Colette here. <laughs> That's awful. It would have been awesome. Anyway, it's been cancelled. That's shocking. So I'll put him on the short list, which is already on there. Um, you never know what, what may happen. Never knew. All right, so we've sold you, which is fine. So we've got 5k a week trans uh, wage budget. That's it. Could we actually afford Coletti now? Could we... How much did that give us? Oh, that would! We can afford him! Oh, that's exciting. So we need 145k, don't we? So that's 153, and that's still going to give us 2.5 grand, which is basically going to be his wage. So can we go back? Hopefully he'll still be able to... He won't hate us. Don't hate me. Don't hate me. Don't hate me. Can we drop this a little bit? Disappointed. Alright, so we'll bump back up then. Oh, it's exciting. That could be exciting. I think I really think he would be very, 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 very good for us if we could get him in. Um, training, blah, blah, blah. Melandry. Um, cool. Coach. New coach, which is awesome. Awesome, and data analyst, which is good, so that's good. Get some couple of positions filled there. Um, yep, yeah, fine, okay. Oh, no! <laughs> oh, damn it! Oh, that sucks. That really sucks. We're a day away, weren't we? We were a day away. We couldn't have delayed it anymore. Could we actually? Could we have delayed it? 
Oh, we probably could have done actually, but I suppose we didn't know because we didn't know. Yeah. I should have actually delayed that, shouldn't I? I should have, but shouldn't have been so hasty. Anyway, that is a mistake by me. I will own that one. Um, okay, so... What about you? Uh, parole last. So you're available on a free transfer. You're 37 though, aren't you? Whoa. And you don't really suit defensive midfielder all that much. Damn. Okay, well, I think we're probably just going to have to wear... I think we're just going to run with what we've got at the moment, actually. We'll get rid of our transfer budget. We don't need it right now. Um, it gives us 3.9k a week, so it puts us a fair way under the transfer but other wage budget, which means we the board will be happy with us and hopefully helps us out a little bit financially. Although, yeah, so our, our projections are going down, so that's not good. Anyway, uh, okay, so we're in, in the episode here, guys, after my little mistake, and hope you enjoyed today's episode. As always, it would be amazing if you could like the video and subscribe to the channel. That would be very, very much appreciated. And, yeah, I'll see you on for the next episode.